way to get up to speed, especially since things change so fast. Oh, come on in, perfect timing. Thank you all for coming today. My name is Barbara and I'm here with Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Minnesota. And we're here to discuss this big topic of healthcare, more specifically, Medicare. What is it? What does it cover? And how do you use it? And we'll also try to answer any sort of questions you may have along the way. Sound good? Sounds good. Okay, I'll kick us off by asking you all, how many of you have done something health related in the last month? This could be a checkup, hospital stay, or even working out. Okay, great. Who can name for me the four parts of Medicare? I have no idea. I think it's like the ABCs. Oh, it's uh, one, two, three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so close. You're right though. Medicare is part A, B, C, and D. I think it's supposed to sound simple. Yeah, we wouldn't be here if it was. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I like this group. One of the things that I wanna to do today is demystify these four parts because they can be easier to understand if we work on an example together. Sounds good to me. Okay. So let's say you have a tough cough that's been bothering you for a while. <coughs> Just trying to help. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Love the participation. So you decide it's time to go get it checked out. You go to your primary care doctor who you've been going to for years. John. Thanks. Now, Dr. John diagnoses you with pneumonia and prescribes you an antibiotic to take home. Here's where the parts come in. This doctor's appointment is covered by Part B because Part B covers visits to a clinic or to your primary care doctor. And this is where Part D comes in because D is for drugs. Part D would help cover the antibiotic you pick up. Let's say a few weeks pass and your cough starts getting worse and you wake up in the middle of the night and can't seem to catch your breath. You decide to go to the emergency room and are admitted to stay in the hospital. Now, during your hospital stay, you're given IV antibiotics, which help you finally kick that cough. <clears throat> Glad you made it. We all are. So, Part A applies now because Part A is for when you're in the hospital. And it also covers any drugs you're given while staying in the hospital. Both the stay and the IV antibiotics are covered by Part A. So those are the main parts of Medicare. But you'll notice I didn't mention Part C. Right. Now that's because Part C is actually a little different. Part C is also called an Advantage plan. Advantage plans combine Part A and B, so you only have one plan. A plus B equals C. Depending on which insurance provider you choose, they can have additional benefits. Our Advantage plan has a lot of different benefits, like wellness coaching, nurse line, coverage while traveling. It's pretty awesome. What about dental coverage? Oh, good question. Now, that's another thing that a lot of people are looking for. Dental, hearing, and vision coverage. How do you get these? There are two ways to get these types of coverage. If you have a Medicare Advantage plan, hearing, vision, and dental are included. Otherwise, if you don't have a Medicare Advantage plan, then you can buy them separately as add-ons. That's something we can help you with at any of our retail stores. And you can always give us a call. You look like you have a question. Yes. You were talking about a primary care doctor. How's that different from a regular doctor? Oh, great, okay. A primary care doctor is the doctor you see for most things. So the main difference is this is your go-to person. You know them, they know you, and they help guide you in your decision making. I've been seeing my doctor for 20 years. I just found out that she's retiring. How do I find a new one that you cover? That's awesome that you saw her for 20 years. But if you ever find yourself needing a new primary care doctor in your network, you can contact us directly, or you can use our app or the website. Now there's this tool called Find a Doctor and it helps you search based on location, gender, things like that. Any other questions? I was up at my cabin last summer when I got cut working on the siding and I ended up in the ER. But then I thought I can save money 
by having the stitches taken out at the clinic instead of driving all the way back here just to see my personal doctor. Uh, primary care doctor. <laughs> yeah, thank you. But because the clinic was not in my network, I got stuck with a huge bill. Thanks for sharing. Is your hand better? Yeah, thank you. Thank Good. You. It's sometimes hard to know what to do in situations like that. Just remember, anytime you need to find care, you can get out your phone and look on our app or visit the website and use that find a doctor tool to see where the nearest doctor is in your network. I recommend doing that because you want to make sure you go to the right place for the right care. It can save you money. Now, in an emergency, make sure to go to the nearest ER like you did. But if it's more of a standard type of thing, then yeah, you're better off making sure it's in your network. What about just being healthy? In regard to? Last time I went to the doctor, he thought it was a good idea that I lose some weight. But I mean, where do I start? I can't see myself bench pressing anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have great news. We have a lot more than health coverage. We want to help you live the best life you can. We have this great team of wellness coaches who can help you with all kinds of things, like losing weight or nutrition, sleeping better, stress, um, uh, quitting tobacco, things like that. And depending on the type of plan you choose, you may have this kind of support available to you. Ooh, and I'll also mention too, that we have rewards programs healthy resources, access to fitness facilities, even in-home fitness programs. It's amazing. There is a lot of healthy support available to you. I'm glad you asked about that. Well, thanks. I'll give that some thought. No, thank you. And thank you all so much for the great questions. If you have any others, or if you think of something later, please feel free to reach out to us anytime. You can give us a call by easily finding our number on the back of your insurance card. Otherwise, there's always good information available on our website or on the mobile app. Okay, take care. You guys were really fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.